Uh, Solana has trended downward since late July. Uh, the network's TDL has also been on a decline for a long time now. But that need not worry investors too much. Uh, the developments around Solana uh, indicated its commitment to growth. Uh, the Solana network saw the launch of the QCAD digital dollar. StableCorp aims to put Canadian digital dollars within reach of the millions of Solana users in an attempt to grow the on-chain RFX market. Uh, and at the time of writing, uh, Sol has a, a bullish market structure on the four-hour chart. Uh, the recent higher low sat at 1858 and the higher high at $20.54 was not encouraging that the buyers were unable to breach the $20 and six hours level. But there was some hope. The move below 1858 would be needed to flip the structure bearishly until that time bulls can hope for Sol to form a short term range, consolidate, and then drive to cost at higher. But the evidence at hand showed the sellers had the advantage, and it set up uh, the advantage of time, but the relative strength index has been below neutral 50 in recent days, and the on-balance volume was unable to crack the local resistance despite multiple attempts in September. Together, the indicator signaled Solana prices could dip to 18.6 dollars and lower over the coming days. Uh, since 20 of September, the open interest has been in a downtrend. The price hovered uh, about the $19.6, $19.6 region, but lacked a strong trend over the past few days. The inference was that bullish sentiment in the market was neutered and long positions were discouraged. The spot cumulative volume delta was also in a downtrend over the past week. This meant demand in the Solana spot markets was weak. Hence, in the coming days, these factors must change before Sol can have a good chance of rallying past the $20, $6 resistance.